And I want to just teach on the topic of even my enemies, listen to this, even my enemies will be at peace with me. Even my enemies can be at peace with me. Okay, let's go and see what the scripture says. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 7. This is a promise. When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies be at peace with him. I want to tell you that that is an incredible, powerful scripture. It says that if your ways, if your practices, if the way that you do things please the Lord, it doesn't say you have to. Look carefully. It says God will even make your enemies be at peace with you. I want to tell you something that that is a supernatural blessing that can rest on our lives. Most Christians don't even, uh, they're not even aware of it. This is why the Bible says bless your enemies. Why? Because if you don't bless them, God cannot intervene. Now, I need you to understand this. this is a very important principle. If I keep on against my enemies, if I don't bless them, if I don't release them into God's hand, God can't work. And yeah, the scripture explains why. God says, if you, if you walk in the way that pleases him, he will make your enemies at peace with you. God will get your enemies to line up and be at peace with you. I want to tell you right now that I have seen that happen. All right, there have been two major events in my life where both times we ended up in a situation which was not done by us, but we ended up in a situation where we were very unfairly treated. The first time was with the ministry and I carried an offense because of that ill treatment. And that caused a major issue for two years in my life. Until I went to go and make right, even though I wasn't wrong. Listen carefully, it wasn't like I had to go repent for something that I did. I had to go repent for the offense that was in my heart. And it did not have that uh, effect of those enemies being sorted out in my life. The second time when that happened, it was a, a, a different situation. But it was much more severe than the first one even. But this time I learned from the first one. I said, listen, I'm not going to pick up an offense. And I said to everybody around me, in fact, some of the, the my peers and my leadership around were actually mad with me and offended with me for not taking a righteous stand and, and attacking what was wrong. I said, listen, I'm going to bless my enemies. I want to tell you right now. Within two years of that event, every single one, okay, there were quite a few involved, every single one came to repent. They came to me, they came to look me up and said they were sorry in what they did, how it was handled and da 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 da. I want to tell you right now, God brings peace if you do it right. And it doesn't mean that you were Ill, uh, not ill-treated. It doesn't mean that you, you don't have a, almost like a right to go and say something or do something. Let me tell you something. I had a right on both. The first one I used it. It became a mess. The second one I did not use my right. And guess what? God intervened. I want to tell you right now. God wants us to grow up. God wants us to get to the place. Where we actually are growing up. And we are seeing the blessing. And the power of God in our lives. I want to read it again. When a man's ways please the Lord, he, God, makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. And I want you to see that God is busy with us as the church of Jesus Christ. And he's busy maturing us. He's getting us to the place that we should be. Because he has a mighty plan and a purpose for you. And so when God brings us to the place of destiny and purpose, I want you to know that God is not doing it to be ugly to us. He wants the best for us. When he tells us to pray for our enemies, there's a reason for that. 
because he wants to release us. He wants us at peace. Can you imagine not having anybody mad with you? Not having any enemies wanting to come and take you out. That is an awesome place to be. And so this morning, as we come around the table, I want us to celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ is even prepared to work on our enemies on our behalf. And so all we have to do is be pleasing to him. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup and he said that this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our what? Our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection and provision. Let's pray together. Lord, we ask you right now in the name of Jesus to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, any wrong action, any wrong attitude. We ask you please to wash us clean as snow. Lord, we thank you for forgiving us. Lord, I ask you right now in the name of Jesus to make yourself so real to us. Lord, I ask you to help us to walk in your ways. Lord, we thank you that when we are pleasing to you, you will minister even to our enemies. Lord, I thank you for your blessing and your anointing upon every believer. I thank you, Lord, that as we take communion this morning, Lord, that we are not going to be the same. And Lord, that we are going to understand what you want to do for us. Lord, I thank you that we will have peace in our surrounding area. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Lord, we come before you. And Lord, we thank you that we are healed by the power of God. We thank you, Lord, for the Spirit of God that dwells inside of us, that quicken our mortal body. We command every single symptom to leave us in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for the anointing of God that rests on our body. From the top of our head to the bottom of our feet, we declare ourselves healed. We thank you, Lord, that we walk in divine healing in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, saints, I want to bless you. It's Monday morning. We're ready for a major week. We are believing God for miracle upon miracles. We are trusting God for supernatural deals and contracts in our businesses. And we are trusting God that wherever we go, we will be a light. We will be a blessing. And we will just allow God to move supernaturally in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm trusting God. And just before we pray, I just want to say, somebody wanted to say hello. Hey, Prince. <laughs> All right. Prince has been in and out here the whole morning, but he's back. All right. So I want us to pray. Let us pray over our economy. Let us pray over our nation. Let us release blessing and peace over our nation. I want to just thank you. Firstly, for sending out the video, all right, I keep sending it out, all right, the video of the call to prayer. Please, we need to get the entire body uh, activated. Please, if you know leaders, pastors, send it to them. Just ask them if they need more detail. Obviously, I can't release the full information if they need the detail of what is actually going on and what we perceive as the threat in our nation. They can phone me. I will deal with it, explain it. All right. But there is a threat. Satan's not happy with our nation. And there is a threat. But when we pray, we are going to reverse that in Jesus' name. Satan is not going to have this nation in the name of Jesus. God is in control and we are going to pray this thing through. Amen. And as we pray peace over our nation, God is going to work. As you pray protection, God is working in Jesus' name. Amen. So 6126 6 is our prayer times. And we are going to believe God for the supernatural in Jesus name. So let's pray over our businesses and over South Africa. Lord, we pray over each and every company today. Thank you, Lord, for every Christian 
and every believer that is building the altars and busy establishing what needs to be established. Father, we thank you for your blessing upon them. Lord, I pray that every business is prosperous. Lord, supernatural deals, divine contracts, divine connections. Lord, I pray right now that there is going to be a supernatural anointing and shifting in our economy. Father, I thank you right now. The blessing of the Lord is being made manifest across our nation. And that everything that Satan has tried and purposed and has, has an intent for has come to null and void because the saints are praying and the saints are believing God and building altars in businesses. I pray for strength for the, for the Christians. Lord, I pray for every believer that they are going to be consistent and they're going to be solid in Jesus' name. And we will not grow weary in doing well. Father, I thank you that as we build altars, we are restricting the evil influence. And Father, I thank you for your blessing and anointing in Jesus' name. Lord, right now, I thank you for every single Christian. Lord, that as we go, we will release peace and we will release blessing of God over every step that we take in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we bless our nation this morning. We thank you, Lord, for, uh, we pray over our leaders. We pray, God, that you're going to lead them, direct them by your spirit. And Lord, that our nation will be blessed, will be prosperous in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, right now, I thank you for the power of God to flow in every single sector of the economy. Lord, I pray particularly over the hospitality industry. Lord, I thank you that the hospitality industry will be blessed. And Lord, supernaturally, you're going to intervene there in Jesus' name. And Lord, right now, we pray over this COVID virus. We command it to die, dissipate, and leave our nation. Lord, I thank you for the testimonies that have come in. For all the testimonies that have already come in of how the COVID is just crashing. And Lord, our hospitals are being emptied out. But God, I pray that every hospital will have zero COVID patients in. And that this COVID epidemic leave our nation once and for all. In Jesus' name, we declare life. We declare blessing over this nation. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, right now, I thank you that we can pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Lord, as a nation, we stand together. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We thank you, Lord, for blessing Israel. And we thank you, Lord, for seeing the power of God move in that nation. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Right, folks. I am so excited this week. I believe that God is activating the body of Christ. And we are going to do some of the most incredible things through the power of God in Jesus' name. All right, it's Monday and so I want to remind you that um, the college is still on a, a sabbatical. They're still closed. And so we are going to have a teaching um, at 6.30 tonight. We are going to just have a general teaching. So get ready for that. And then at 7.30, what is going to happen is uh, all the kings and priests, all the business guys, last week we were off because of the public holiday. We are back. All right, we are going to be praying over the businesses, seeking God. If you're a business person and you'd like to be part of this group, it doesn't matter what church, okay, this is open to everybody. You just come. We are praying for businesses. We are believing God for supernatural miracles in our businesses and for supernatural divine contracts and divine connections in Jesus' name. We are praying for each other. We are ministering to each other. And we do that every Monday night at 7.30 on a Zoom session. All right, so the links are out on the groups as well as on our Facebook page. So please join us tonight at 7.30. So from my side, I want to bless you and say have a wonderful day. Because I'm going to have an awesome day. And I love the Lord. He loves me. He loves the Christians. We are all on fire. And we are going to do something amazing because we are obeying a living God in Jesus' name. All right, let's do our declaration this morning. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life.